All right, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take audio, any type of audio sample or vocal specifically, and they could be at a different tempo, and say you want to adjust it to maybe 130, like I have it. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that, and take a sample that's at a different tempo and adjust it to the song tempo that you want. Now, there's a couple ways to do this, but uh, I, I prefer this method first. So I'm going to open up Edison right here. i got Edison open and I'm going to import my audio clip. I happen to have one from iTunes, I'm just going to drag it over, or you could open it from the file menu. It, it's just wherever you have it. So here's the sample, and here's how it sounds, real fast. I'll show you. Alright, so that's how the sample sounds right now, and if you look right here, there's a little spot that says Tempo. Uh, there's nothing in there right next to the title and everything so there's two ways to do this one is to right click on the tempo and click tap and then you can tap along on your mouse what you think the tempo is and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now it can be rather difficult sometimes your finger will slip or something So it kind of walked in at 73. Now I know it's going to be either 72 or 74 because 73 is just a really odd thing. So if you right click on the title like I just did of the clip right here, right click right there, you'll see right here in the middle it says tempo. Now I just saw it was 73 so I'm going to type that in right there and then I would click accept. Alright and then now the tempo shows up right here. Now the other way to do it is to just have FL do it, auto detect right there and it'll come up with a number uh, normally it'll do it in double time so it's gonna show up because I've already done this before it's gonna show up 143.97 after it takes time to think that's what will come up now I know 143 is almost 144 and so that divided by 2 would be 72 which is almost exactly the tempo I just came up with alright now we got this sample at 72. So I'm going to drag it into my playlist right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is sync it up with uh, my downbeats. One, two, three, four. So first I got to sync it up, otherwise it's just going to sound weird. So I'm going to do that. Zoom in, make sure your snap is set to none or off. That way you can sync up the audio. and line up the peaks with the uh, little lines that indicate each bar like I'm doing and eventually uh, it'll get sounding pretty good where you think it's on beat and you mess around with different peaks you know make sure it's on the right beat all right I think this sounds pretty good where it is Alright, so now I'm lined up, I set the tempo for my audio clip, this could be vocals or whatever. Alright, it could be anything. So, my track, I'm going to adjust the tempo to where I want it at 1.30 in a second. Right now I'm going to, you know, uh, zoom out of this. Alright, so now I opened up uh, the audio sample in the channels spot. Uh, I normalize it just to make sure it's louder. And right here, this little time knob, we're going to have to set this to the tempo which the audio clip is set to. So you can just right click on it and click auto detect. Now it'll show you that we already embedded 72 as the audio file's tempo. Alright, now you see the time knob adjusted. So now I'm going to adjust my tempo back up to where I want it, 130. Alright, and now it's already set. Now it's synced and it'll play along with my tempo. Now you notice the pitch has gone up right here. It's, it's a lot higher pitch than it used to be. 
and that's just because it's been sped up. So if you go down here and you click, instead of resample, you click Pro Default, it'll load, it takes a second, and then it'll set it back to the original sound. There's also other settings that you maybe want to experiment with and try out. So now, now it's, it's on beat, it's playing the tempo I want it, and it still has the original pitch. And that's what we're aiming for here. So uh, that's about it. That's how you take an audio sample, vocals, or anything um, that has a different tempo. Now you can uh, apply it to whatever tempo you like. And that's how you do it. This is driving me crazy forever. I finally figured out how to do it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.